Do you know there are common services among AWS, Azure, and GCP platform, but they have different names. So in this video, we are going to see those common services and their respective different names in their platform. So let's see those common services and their so this is the comparison chart between AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud services. So starting with the first service that is uh, applicable regions. So in case of AWS, we have regions and zones. While in Azure, we have regions and zones. And in case of GCP, we have regions, regions and zones. Moving on to the compute services. So in Amazon, we call it EC2, that is Elastic Compute Cloud. While Azure, we mention it as virtual machines. And in case of GCP, we have computing. App hosting platform, uh, we have Amazon Plastic, Ben, Talk, while Azure Cloud services are there. And Google App Engine is for application deployment. Serverless compute, we have AWS Lambda, while in case of Azure, it is functions and Google Cloud functions, these are the names. When it comes to the container service, AWS has Elastic Container Service, Azure Container Service, uh, GCP has container. Scaling options, we have auto scaling, Azure auto scaling, and auto scaler. Object storage, in case of AWS, we call it S3, while in case of Azure, it is block, and in case of GCP, it is cloud storage. AWS platform, it is Amazon Elastic Block Storage, while in Azure, it is managed storage, and in case of GCP, it is persistent. Coming to the container delivery network, in case of Amazon, it is cloud run. In Azure, it is Azure CDN, cloud CDN, in case of GCP. So SQL databases option, we have RDS, that is relational data store, in case of Amazon. In Azure, it is SQL database, and it is cloud SQL. No SQL databases, in case of Amazon, we have DynamoDB, Azure Document DB, and in case of C, CDP platform, it is cloud data store. So when it comes to the virtual network, we see VPC, Azure virtual network, and cloud virtual network in case of GCP. And private network connectivity, the direct network connectivity, we have AWS Direct Connect, Azure Express Route, and Cloud Interconnect. DNS services, Amazon Route 53, Azure Traffic Manager, Cloud DNS. Log monitoring services, Amazon Cloud Trail, Azure Operational Insight, Cloud Logging in case of GCP. Performance monitoring in case of Amazon, we have Amazon CloudWatch, Azure Application Insight in case of GCP, Stack Driver Monitoring. Administration and Security, AWS Identity Access Management, Azure Active Directory, Cloud Identity Access. Compliance, we have AWS Cloud HSM, Azure Trust Center, Google Cloud Platform Security. And when it comes to the streaming analytics services, Amazon KNSS, Azure Streaming Analytics, and Cloud Data Flow in case of Automation, AWS OPS Works, Azure Automation, Compute Engine Management, those are the services names. Management services and option Amazon CloudFront, Azure Resource Manager, Cloud Deployment Manager. Notification services we have SNS service in case of AWS, Azure Notification of while Google Cloud. Coming to the load balancing in case of AWS, we have Elastic Load Balancer in case of Azure, load balancing for Azure. And when it comes to the GCP, we have Cloud Load Balancing. So these are the common services there, but they have different different names in their respective platform. So this is all about the common services in AWS, Azure, and GCP platform and their respective different names when it comes to the implementation. So hope this video will help you give the common services and give their respective different names in your platform. Thank you for watching.